Uh, we do want to turn right now to the latest on USC football star Josh Shaw. Earlier this week, he claimed he sprained his ankles jumping from a balcony to save his nephew from drowning. Now he admits he made that story up. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with the latest on it. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Larry. Earlier this week, he was hailed a hero. This morning, he is being called a liar. Shaw now says the elaborate and daring rescue of a seven-year-old nephew was a complete fabrication. And Josh Shaw. This morning, USC cornerback and team captain Josh Shaw is suspended indefinitely from the team after admitting he lied about how he ended up with two sprained ankles over the weekend. It was so out of character for him. He was the kid who always did everything right. On Monday, the 22-year-old football player was praised as a hero after telling the school he jumped from a second-story apartment Saturday to rescue his seven-year-old nephew from drowning. But the very next day, speculation, he lied. Well, we've gotten a few phone calls um, contradicting what Josh said occurred Saturday night, so we're going to continue to vet it. But when Shaw's sister spoke to us, she jumped to his defense, saying she wasn't there at the time, but believes Shaw did rescue her son. My child is safe, and it's because of Josh. By late Wednesday, Shaw came clean in a statement released by his attorney. I injured myself in a fall. I made up a story about this fall that was untrue. I was wrong to not tell the truth. I apologize to USC. He shouldn't have lied about it, but he's a captain here. We should stand by him as a school. And now another twist. The LAPD releasing a statement saying Shaw was mentioned but not named a suspect in a break-in at an apartment building the same night he claimed to be rescuing his nephew. Witnesses described a black male with dreadlocks leaving the apartment balcony, the report says. Mr. Shaw is listed in the report as the victim's boyfriend, who happened to have a similar description of the suspect leaving the apartment. No suspects have been arrested. The investigation is still ongoing. His attorney says nothing was criminal. The biggest question that looms out there is why did he make up such an intricate lie? So the Trojans will start their season this weekend without one of their starters. The coach did say he hopes Josh will not be defined by this incident and that the Trojan family will accept his apology and support him, George. Okay, Lindsay, thanks. ABC's chief legal affairs anchor Dan Abrams is here. You said yesterday was a strange story. And now we're being able to piece together a little better what actually happened. Now, we know he lied. Put aside the whole story about the seven-year-old nephew for a moment. Here's what we know. The authorities get a report in downtown Los Angeles of a woman screaming, possible burglary. They show up. They're directed to an apartment complex. They go to an apartment complex. They end up interviewing a woman who seems to have been Shaw's girlfriend. Shaw's girlfriend identifies a person out on a balcony near where a window had apparently been pried open as matching a description of someone who matches Shaw. Shaw's own lawyer puts him there at that apartment complex saying that is where he fell from a balcony. So now we know, forget all the, the business about uh, his nephew and a swimming pool, etc. Even his own lawyer is now admitting that the fall occurred at an apartment complex where there had been some sort of incident that night. So what kind of legal exposure does he have now, breaking and entering maybe? Well, no, well, look, we have to be careful. We don't know that he was involved in that. But look, you can lie about the police, but you get in trouble if you lie to the police, right? Big difference there. So if he just lied about what happened and, you know, he was declared a hero by USC and by the media, that's just incredibly embarrassing and an issue that comes up with USC. He's being suspended from the team, etc. The, the problem for him would, would occur if he was questioned by the police. Well, so that's the question. If he just went out and told the story, it's not a legal matter. But if the police came that's and right. questioned him. That's, that's the fundamental line uh, as to where he could get in real trouble versus just, you know, a little bit of trouble. And in the meantime, he's suspended from the team. That's right. Indefinitely. Okay. Dan Abrams, thanks yeah. very much.